Hi guys, this is another smart physics tutorial for wire and rectangular loop. Okay. So here we have this loop. This is the width. This is the length. Mm, this should be H. Dang it. Okay. This is the height. And here is the I. And this I is going up. Cool. And the unknown well these are knowns which is the i the l and the w and the this should be h2 dang it and we have i2 too is known okay all right so the first question is asking um what is f a d x x component of the force well you can see the question down in the description here down Okay, so the first question is, they're asking about F, A, D, X. So they want the force on this piece. From here to here. Okay. Um, so the, um, the force is I, I1, I2, times the mu0 times the length of this, which is h, divided by 2 pi, and the distance from here to here, which is l. Well, how did I come with that? It's i, l, b, okay. And the b here from um, a wire is, so the b is equal to the i, other i, this one is the i1, because it's the force on it. So this is I2. This is the magnetic magnetic field from I2. So it's yeah, mu over 2 pi and then the distance which is R but here it's L. And then we combine those and we'll get this equation. And the L here is the H. Okay. Alright cool. Then you'll get your answer. But so let's see the direction of it. So um, this wire will will make a magnetic field that's into the page on this side. Okay, and um, let's see where's the force. The force is um, what was it? It's I L cross B. So to know the direction of the force, let's cross the I L, which make your fingers with the current. <sighs> Alright, so make your fingers with the current and then curl it with the magnetic field so it's pointing this way. I can do it on the video. Okay. So your your fingers with the with the current and curl it into the magnetic field and your thumb will be pointing at the force. So this is the force from this guy. <clears throat> so it's in the positive X. Cool. Yeah, it's in the positive x. <laughs> All right. So the second one is um, asking what is f b c x, the x component of the force. Okay, on this guy. Well, it's the same thing. It's just the different is an l. So i one i two mu not h over 2 pi so it's just the distance is different now so the distance from here to here is L plus W so plus L plus W okay let's look at the direction of this guy so this will exert the same thing thumb and then it's exerting down the magnetic field Okay, so to know the force, it's the same, I, L, cross B. So here is I, my fingers with the direction of the I and L, and then cross it with B, which is into the page. So the magnet, the force is to the left, which is X minus, okay? Cool. So the third question is, um, what is the FY net? 
Okay. Well, the if y net, if you look at this here, um, it's going to exert the same thing, x and x here, and your x and x. And both of them are the same distance. So if you look at this, i cross um, cross the b, then you'll get uh, the force going up here. And this one, you'll get i cross b. Oh, shoot. I cross B and it's going down okay so this one is going down so both of them will cancel each other since they are the same distance and the same length okay so the F Y net is equal to zero cool all right so question number four is asking um, if there's like another wire that's <coughs> um, that's here and the net force now on the loop is equal to zero. Okay. Um, what is the direction of I and what is the magnitude of I? Okay, um, looking at this problem here from these guys, which one do you think is bigger? Yeah, it's going to be this one. Why? Because the distance is less than this one. So the net force on the loop from the um, I1 is going to be to the right. See, it's going to be in the x positive here. Okay. So the net force on this is going to be in the x and the x positive. So in order for this to be zero, then the net force on well, not the net force. The force from I3, let's call this I3, should make the net force zero. Well, it should, like, so the force on this loop, on this part should be to the left. Okay. Cool. Okay, then, um, to make the um, force to the left, we need um, a magnetic field that's pointing into the page because if you want to do um, the I for this part here the I cross with B it's going to the left here okay so how would we make um, a magnetic field that's pointing into the page from this wire well so I let's do if we pretend that I going down and then cross like when you do the wire, you put your your thumb with the with the current and then just curl it, and this will give you the um, direction of the magnetic field, All right? So I cross with B, not cross with B. So I and curl it. This is the direction of B. Okay, so this one is going down. Okay, so it's going down. This way, it's gonna produce a magnetic field. It's going into the page. Cool. Okay. Um, all right. So let's call this I three. Um, so we want to make the net force. So since the net force, uh, I don't know how to write now. Net force is equal to zero. That means that the um, the sum of these forces, the um, F A D X minus F B C X will be equal to um, the F um, F I three on this loop. Okay. Cool. So let's get F I three. F I three. The force from the wire three. All right, cool. Um, and this distance here is they gave us that it's two l, two l apart. Okay, so the force on this part will be um, i three i two u naught. Um, then length is h divided by 2 pi and the distance here from here to here is 2L okay and 
this is on CB. So the force on DA will be I3, I2, U naught H over 2 pi, and then distance from here to here, and then from here to here. So it's 2L plus W. Now the same if you look at it, this will be pointing to this direction and from from this guy to this guy the force will be to the left so we're gonna minus them. Okay. So putting this together and since the two L will be bigger then we're gonna put put it like this. I two mu naught H divided by two pi. And then it's one over two L minus one over two L plus omega, not omega, it's W. Okay. Okay, so then you're gonna put this equal to what you get from this here. Okay, so this will be equal to F um, ADX minus FBCX. Okay. Right, so well, this is the answer from number one, and this is the answer from number two. Okay, you'll get a positive number here. Cool. Yeah. So, and then the unknown now will be you. You have I two. You have everything here. You're just missing the I three. So you're just solving for the I three. Okay. Cool. Let me just make sure of all the numbers. Um, yes, everything is correct. All right, cool. Um, I hope this helped, and good luck, my friend. Bye-bye.